Hello everyone and welcome to a video which I really wish I didn't have to make but it comes a certain time when you have to which is not right but you have to because sometimes people don't see very far into what they're doing and they need a reminder that what they're doing is not exactly correct if you will. Now today at this moment in time playground games are thinking of implementing blacklisting of op cars such as the bone shaker and the tractor because every little moaner for this game has ruined it to the point where they've just been like oh everyone's using it in online adventure and we can't win in our riced out little honda civics where now in my opinion i find this to be horse crap because if you wanted to use a honda civic go in goddamn normal adventure and have fun don't spoil it for everyone else if you want to be competitive you use the best cars that's why they're called leaderboard cars such as the rs200 best at playground games the mc12 best for handling for newcomers the mgb gt great in drift adventure the monte carlo great in drag racing the tractor and the hula girl and the bone shaker are great for class racing this is because people actually like them because there's two classes of people there's competitive and newcomers. Now, newcomers love these cars because they're easy to drive and they actually get chance to learn the game with the car that gives them a bit of a chance, right? Now, even if you don't win, yes, they make mistakes, people do, and they fix the rammer issue and they fixed like the skipping and the wall riding, so you can't even complain about that anymore. That, I was happy with that they fixed it, right? But this is a totally different issue. Now, I don't like using labels, but I'm going to use one here. This is due to all the snowflakes out there that get offended by anything and everything just so that they can be offended. Now, in my opinion, I despise and loathe these people. I do not have any time for them in my working, social, gaming or any other life that I want to make for myself. Like Tonic, right? She only got an Xbox less than a year ago. She liked to use some OP cars so that she could actually learn the basics of the game. But now she's actually a really good racer in her own right, so she doesn't need to. But OP cars have always been around. You've had the 918 in Horizon 3, which was ridiculous. You've got all these cars for this game alone. You know, so it's not just two cars. You've had everything going back from Motorsport 7. You've got the Lotus 340R, the 99 Lotus. You know, you've always got an OP car in something. In the Crew 2, you've got the Huracan Puffamante. In anything, there's going to be an OP car. And what I find really hurtful here is that Playground Games have decided to blacklist two cars that everyone is complaining about just because they're not good at the game. If you're not good at the game, either try and get good with the cars that you're complaining about so that you actually have a chance, or just go away and stop ruining it for other people. Now, I'm not saying everyone is out to ruin it. It's a fact. You know, some people really like to use the OP cars, and yes, it sometimes is abused, but oh my God, it's called a leaderboard car for a reason the reason why it's called a leaderboard leaderboard car is because it's actually good at something if you made all the cars good and equal to one another then you're just going to end up with need for speed payback and you know all you all know how that ended up down the toilet <laughs> right now no shade on need for speed heat it has it's, it had its own problems at launch but you know that made every car as fast as one another where you could make a bloody skyline go as fast as an Aventador. And I hate to say it, it just can't happen. Okay, it just can't. But back onto the subject. If you blacklist a car, 
right? And they might have already done it by the time this episode comes out, but hear me out. If you blacklist a car, that means people are going to go to the next high-performing car, which in A-Class is either going to be the Hula Girl or the Shelby Daytona. And then everyone's going to use that. A month later, everyone's going to be complaining, saying, the Hula Girl and the Daytona is OP. Ban it. Ban it now. Uh -huh. And then Playground Games, because they've bowed to peer pressure, which they never usually do, they are going to ban that car. And then it's going to go all the way down to the point where everyone is going to be in a crappy Honda Prelude at stock where you can't drive it and it's not fun anymore. By blacklisting a car, you are making a car not fun anymore. And that really, really hurts me because the Horizon franchise has been special with me. I have been with the Forza franchise since Forza Motorsport 2. I have been with this and I've got every game, every special edition, every DLC and I have been an advocate for this game and this game series because I really enjoy it and thanks to this game series I have met so many wonderful friends from people I consider family like Starlight to close racing rivals like Savvy and Epic and Sweden to all the other people I have called dear and actually like to call family now. You know, that's what the problem. You don't just form friends, you form family in these games. And by blacklisting cars, you are promoting unhealthy behaviour by just letting people get their own way by ruining this wonderful creation of a game. Now, don't get me wrong, I know it has bugs. Every game has bugs. You know, you show me one game that is perfect at launch and stays perfect. You know, classic example, Fallout 76. It's, well, that is the game that just keeps on giving as a meme. You know, you don't see, you don't see the FIA turning up to Lewis Hamilton, and, you know, and Ferrari and Red Bull saying, oh no, you cannot go to this Grand Prix this weekend because your cars are too OP. So we're gonna hold you in the pit area whilst everyone else drives. Okay, okay. There would be a massive uproar. You know, there's gonna be a more OP car than the rest. That's just life, okay? And the sad fact is, all the snowflakes who deem it right to bitch about anything, they have ruined this game by complaining too much that it's fast. It's not fast. In fact, the hula girl is faster than the sodding bone shaker. The only reason people complain about the bone shaker is because more people have it. Because they're morons. You know, it just really upsets me and it really annoys me that they've actually whimmed this behaviour and actually accepted it. You know, you I know you're going to have the fanboys saying like, bring back the Supra. At this point, I couldn't give two craps about the Supra. Toyota, they wanted to go their own way. Stop giving them a platform. Just ignore them. They'll come back. Mitsubishi did. Everyone else who has left the franchise has come back over time, either due to renewing licenses or realising, hey, we screwed up. So just let Toyota go. Embrace the new car companies. I mean, I personally prefer all the Deberity design cars over Toyota any day. You know, yeah, the Super is nice for the Fast and Furious, but I hate to say it, there's not much else. That and the Lexus LFA. Everything else, garbage. And if you don't believe me, this is my own opinion. Don't hate me for it and be another snowflake. Actually form your own opinions. If these are your own opinions, fine. I don't have a problem with you you know, having a different opinion to me, we all do. It's the behaviour that actually is getting these cars banned. Like, you don't see, you know, you don't see, like, take it back all the way to 1966. Can you imagine if Ford would have got banned with the GT and let Ferrari win because their car was too OP? 
or Porsche being bon banned from Le Mans with the prototypes because they're too OP with the LMP1s. You know, this is not right. This behaviour is not acceptable. It is behaviour that is infecting the wrong mindset and it's going to kill this franchise if you're not playground careful playground games and yes i am pointing the finger at you playground games you really need to realize that this is only going to scale down the ladder of cars here you know they're gonna go from the bone shaker to the hula girl to the hula girl to the daytona to the daytona to anything else that is the next fastest thing because people want to go fast if you wanted to go slow and just do this you would go into the normal version of american truck simulator you know you wouldn't even bother to get a mod and those people let's be real if they enjoy doing that that's one thing if they find fun in it i for person find it boring don't push it on to everyone else it is an utter utter waste to think that these people have the right to get cars blacklisted just because they don't like it. If you don't like it, go and get in the car yourself or go into a different race. It's people's choice if they want to drive it. It's people's choice if they want to use it. And in my opinion, I, last time I checked, Playground Games was based in a country that was actually proud of freedom of speech. You know, you've got all the LGBT advocates, you know, having lovely freedom of speech, which I'm all behind. You've got all the people who are identifying as a hundred different genders. I find it ridiculous myself that there's that many, but that's just my opinion, right? I'm not going to hate you for it. You know, I find it ridiculous. That's just my opinion. But do not de-platform a vehicle because it's good. That's like banning Lewis Hamilton or Sebastian Vettel or Michael Schumacher from F1 just because they're good. I find this pity. I find it stupid. And if it's done really like this and they keep on banning and blacklisting cars, it's going to seriously affect the online community because people aren't just going to want to play anymore. You know, they're called leaderboard cars for a reason. They're good for a reason. Let them be good. Who cares? You know, the Bone Shaker made available to everyone. The tractor available to everyone. The Hula Girl. Yes, it's in the car pass, but it's there. You can get it if you want. Just use it. Stop complaining and just use it. If you want to use something else, that's fine. Just understand that you're not going to be as fast and don't cry about it when you're not going to win. It just really upsets me that a game company such as this has made so many improvements to a game. I mean, I know it's not perfect. You know, online's still buggy. You know, everything's still got bugs here and there. There's glitches here and there. I understand that. That comes with gaming these days because people are wanting more and more and I still, prowl, I still praise Playground Games for the amount of work they do. It's incredible. You know, game development is a lot of hard work and I'll be pressed to find a game developer who says otherwise. But for people to de-platform two cars because they're simply good. I find it petty, I find it stupid, and I find it utterly, utterly disappointing more than anything. Because this game is supposed to symbolise freedom. Freedom that you can drive anything you want, from a drift car to a stance car, to a hypercar, supercar, touring car, whatever. You're supposed to enjoy yourself with your friends on the open road. And the sad thing is we can't do that anymore because of that 1% that ruins it for everyone. That 1% that decides to complain rather than actually hone and sharpen their skills. And it just saddens me. And I'm going to quote a passage. I'm going to stick that on pause. I'm going to find a passage that just sums it up perfectly. Right. Now, this poem holds a lot to me. 
and you can look at it yourself. Do not, now this really, this really sums up what Playground Games needs to heed. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The wise men at their end no dark is right because their words had forks, no lightning. They do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The light should burn bright with this game. They should be proud and they should enjoy this game. They should be proud what they have done and let people enjoy every game and every car to its max. Playground Games, I hope you hear me. And to anyone else who wants to talk to me about this, I will gladly talk to you about it. But I will say now, if you give me just full on crap, I'll just block you from any platform. So up on screen now, here is all my socials. So here you go. Right? Now those socials, DM me, message me, anything. You can tell me your opinion why you don't like them or stuff like that, right? But if you come at me fully with your opinion and don't even try to see it from my side here, I don't have the time for you. I understand people are annoyed that people are using it all the time, but there's a reason. They're the best. People like to use the best. Might, right, might savvy, crashed, hypercar, everyone who wanted to suggest something, Genji, suggest what you just said to me. What, well, personally, well, I suggest, what I think I, think I it's should really do good. for it. Okay, hyper, you do yours first then. Okay, so here's what I think. Yeah, they're OP cars, but because all these f are complaining, excuse my language, but it's getting to the point where Metal, you know very well, you and I both know how to use the RIC 200 very, very well. Exactly. We've proven an infection, so we've proven it in events. Yes, that is true. And we've proven it because we know how to use it. We use separate cars for different events, and those cars are also OP, because those are the cars we learn how to use the best. And if you don't want to learn how to use them, then just go in a different car and don't blacklist them. It's just not right. It isn't right to do, mm -hmm. and it just ends up a whole bunch of conflicts, mm -hmm. and it's ending up as hashtag yeah. don't bully hypercar, because I'm always inside this, and it's going to topic, but literally, this is getting to a point where it's just unacceptable. We need to let Playground Games know it that is. they don't need to change it. It's just stay the same. And all the people who are complaining, they're the ones who should get banned, because Playground Games have done this for a reason. And just as he said, there will be OP cars. But that doesn't mean that the OP cars should be banned. That's why I think about it. In my personal opinion, what actually, I, I hear think that like playground is actually really done, should be. It's be turned 10 as we do Horizon starting next yeah, year. Nah. Yeah. I know. So but, like, personally, what I think they should do is they should split the uh, types of like online adventure you can go into. It's like if you if you go into one and you want to be racing against people who are racing in or against people who are using OP cars, you should have one for that. But then there's the people who don't want to race against them, like the people who are complaining about them and who don't want to like worry about people being massively quick compared to them. There should be one yeah, for like that as well. Like where they yeah, should be just like mm -hmm. Where they should be like, do you want to race against? Do you want to allow people to use this? And if they say yes, then they should be able to like race against people who are in those cars and do that sort of thing. Whereas if they say no, they sh it should put them into a separate queue for people who don't want to race against them and don't want people to be using them. And as Hypo was saying, it's just getting to that point where it's just ridiculous now. 
it is purely just ridiculous. I mean, I know because there's me and plenty of my friends who are at the high level of like of the game. We don't care. Yeah. And to be honest, they're yeah. not actually that quick. You can beat them in all sorts of things as long as you know how to drive them. Mm -hmm. It's the, the matter of the fact is people don't put in. If you put in the time to learn how to drive them, you will be able to beat them. Whereas if you don't put in the time to learn how to drive stuff, you won't be able to beat them. That's basically just what it boils down to at the end of the day. Not that they're OP or anything. Just boils down to the time that people are willing to put in. Hmm. Anyone else have anything to add? End of my rin mini rant. I'll hmm. be honest, you know, I mean, I as well the only two things I'd like to see is uh, just like another update for like the drifting uh, lobbies. Just so yeah, that we can choose lobbies, either yeah. real wheel drive or all wheel drive or whatever else. Yeah, so you get but to choose like, the right class and, and yeah, 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 like yeah, like how that is, of, it yeah, is very odd. Well, when Whatever you can choose it, it in yeah. also seven. Metal, 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 metal. That's but the main very... thing I really want to see come in. Yeah. Eventually, and the also same thing with the drift with, uh... ones are like the drift ones are odd, but other than can the you drift not? ones, everything works. Yeah. But there's the drift ones, and then I doubt the... they'll ever do a front wheel drive version of it. But it is possible for you to drift a front wheel drive car. I know. I do the a lot, actually, to be honest. To Anyone have anything else yeah, to add about blacklisting? Yeah, so no, I don't. I'm, I'm a drifter and a driver. I just, so. say, I just say that the reason why they blacklist is because they don't want people to do well. They want people to do yeah. poorly because they know they can't know how to use the like really difficult cars to use. That could be very good at beat those OP cars. And they're blacklisting the OP cars you can that beat, could potentially you can help beat that player those improve. OP cars. You can beat those OP cars and it's like for the tractor, mm -hmm. I can beat yeah. people in the tractor because I put the time and effort in to learn how to drive a front wheel yeah, drive. Yeah, like B and A class, because those exact things are really, B, really OP and B and no, A class. For B B class off roading, I've just got a front wheel drive XR2 that'll run and I'm able to beat tractors I put in the time to learn how to to learn the car and learn the lines I need to take with the car to a be as quick as possible. A B-class car beating a big old tractor with close to 600 horsepower. It is just ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah banning yeah. them. Mm. Anyway, thank you for yeah. all your inputs. Thank you very much. No big deal. Yeah, throw us that. This is something we need to fix as a community to yeah, stand up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's a. It's we not just a the end of this. dev div. It's not just a dev div decision. It's community. And the devs are just listening a, to the community. How many people are aware? They're I'll let you guys they're go. I got to I'm trying to change three percent of the community. decision. Right. Thank you, boys. So if anything. Let's stand up as a community. Yeah. And Female. Fix this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway. Of course, thought we make that point. Thank you, guys. The Thank hell? you very much for your input. I'm back female. To, back to the hour. Yeah, problem. Not a guy. And on that sad, unfortunate note, I am going to end this video here. I really hope Playground Games. I hope someone reaches out and wants to talk to me on why they've decided to do this. And. I will admit, anyone wants to talk to me, I will talk to you right back. I am straight shooting, I am straight talking. I do not fluff anything, I don't sugarcoat anything. I will tell you as it is. But anyway though, I have been your host Metal Gage. I'm sorry this has been quite a different video to the usual, but I find it sad that people these days have that amount of power to actually blacklist cars because they're too fast. I've been your host, Mr. Gage. Likes if you loved it, subs if you loved it. Again, you have all my socials. Challenge me. You know, 
I'm open. So anyway, I will see you in the next video, whatever that shall be. Bye-bye.